do a couple of kettlebell exercises right in your chair or wherever your office chair is. Um, for me, my office is in the backyard a lot of the time, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this chair, but feel free to use whatever chair that you have. All right, so grab your kettlebell and let's get started. Kettlebell halos are a great way to improve your shoulder mobility. It's also a decent core exercise. Keep the kettlebell close to your body and make circles around your head, making sure that you're moving the kettlebell around your head and not moving your head. If you feel any sort of impingement in your shoulder, widen your range of motion. Hold the kettlebell in the bottoms up position with your shoulders relaxed. Go ahead and press the bell out in front of your chest, fully extend your arms, and then bring it back to your chest. Single arm press. Keep your rib cage down and core engaged as you press the kettlebell up over your head, fully extending your arms. Only attempt this seated windmill if you've mastered the standing kettlebell windmill and if you have good shoulder mobility. Also make sure to stay looking at the kettlebell the entire time. Pulsing kettlebell goblet squats to a chair. Make sure that you keep your butt low, only tap the seat, don't sit all the way down, keep your knees behind your toes, core engaged, and chest up high. You'll definitely feel your quads and glutes burning after this. Hold the kettlebell in the bottoms up position, then curl the bell up towards your chest, keeping your elbows into your sides. Go at a nice, steady rhythm. Place the leg that's the opposite of the rowing arm in front and your hand on the chair. Then keep your back flat as you row the kettlebell up to your ribs. Thanks for tuning in. See you for the next workout.